Detecting phosphorylated proteins on a western blot is very similar to running a regular western blot. The basic technique is the same – SDS page, transfer, and detection. However, there are a few tips and tricks to consider when detecting phosphorylated proteins. Here are six tips that can help you obtain the best results. As much as possible, make sure you keep your samples and buffers on ice. Endogenous proteases and phosphatases in your lysates will digest and dephosphorylate the proteins in your samples at warmer temperatures. To reduce the chances of dephosphorylation, Use optimized lysis buffers and add appropriate phosphatase inhibitors. Block the membrane in BSA when running a western blot of phosphorylated proteins. A milk-based blocking buffer is not suited for the western blot of a phosphorylated protein as it contains casein, a phosphorylated protein, as well as a high level of phosphatases that can cleave the phosphate off of the target protein. Make sure you select a primary antibody that recognizes the phosphorylated target and has been functionally tested for Western blot applications. You can use the antibody search tool on our website. Some antibodies will detect both the phosphorylated and non-phosphorylated versions of the target antigen. Phosphoproteins make up a low percentage of total cellular proteins, so they can be hard to detect in the assay. If you obtain low or no signal, you may need to induce phosphorylation and run positive controls with the sample. You can also immunoprecipitate the phosphorylated protein before you run your western blot. Another suggestion is to use a known stimulant of phosphorylation of the target and add that to one lane of the gel as a positive control to confirm the assay is working as expected. By multiplexing with fluorescent antibodies, you can look at both total protein and phosphorylated protein in a single western blot. The phosphorylation state of a protein can be visualized and quantitated using the right combination of secondary antibodies. Western blotting is a powerful tool that allows researchers to identify individual proteins in a sample. Using these six tips will help you perform a successful phosphorylated protein western blot.